the castle, Dulcia's Lounge is a place for castle dwellers to gather for drinks, conversation, or study time. Dulcia's is also the castle center for music, with its piano in particular drawing musicians into the lounge to practice their craft. Matt Thaler, a junior and resident assistant here at the castle, is one such musician. His music can be heard at all hours of the day, in between classes, in the morning, and after dinner. He said that he likes the convenience of having a piano so close. It is very, very nice to uh, be able to walk out of your door and play. Um, it's something you really miss when you don't have it and you take it for granted when you do have it. With the way the sound carries in the castle, when someone plays the piano, it can be heard throughout the building. For some students, especially those like Sarah Spires who live in close proximity to the lounge, sometimes the noise can become an issue. It kind of gets distracting after a while because a lot of people like to play the same things over and over again or they intentionally play them in a manner that's not appealing, aka ban uh, banging on the piano or just being really loud. Um, yeah, it can get a little annoying. Night. Claire Torres, another castle student who lives one floor above the lounge, finds that headphones can be an easy solution when trying to study. Up here I can put headphones in, but if like, someone's playing really loud or if the door is open or I'm talking to someone, it can get very annoying. So if I'm doing a study group, it's not as great as it could be. But despite some minor irritations with the sound, the pianists play on and students don't seem bothered enough to 